And look at the difference in the sizes here. This thing, I swear, probably weighs two pounds. It's like, it is a big hunk and chunk of dessert. We are back in the car driving around Florida and we're just passing the Margaritaville Resort. Did you all know that this exists? Just turned 10 o'clock in the morning and it's still totally foggy, but back there is the Margaritaville Resort where you can stay in hotel rooms and they also have villas that you can stay in and you can also buy a villa there like a vacation home villa that you either keep for yourself or you can rent them out and it's just back there our goal where we're driving right now is to cheesecake factory someplace i really really wanted to visit and definitely want to take marcus to he's never been to a cheesecake factory i've only been there once and uh on the way there, we might stop and look at the Vine, I think it's called the Vineland Outlets. And on the way home, we might stop at Fun Spot and ride one roller coaster. And we're just enjoying our afternoon being together here in Florida. The, the area that we're driving around right now is close to Disney. And this is a lot of like the OG, like touristy pop-up things that have been here for a while, like since way, way back. Some of them have been renovated. Some of them are in need of renovation. Some are just closed and falling apart. It's interesting to look at the history here. Oh, look, we're getting close to Disney World. And the traffic is already starting here. We thought if we avoided going on the I-4, we could avoid the traffic, but apparently not. I mean, it's not even stop and go, but I can tell that up here a little ways, there's gonna just be a little bit of congestion. And it's 10.14 in the morning on a Tuesday. Just over here, we have Celebration, which is actually a housing development, a neighborhood that was built by Disney. The whole thing was planned and designed and built by Disney. So if you've ever wanted to say that you live at Disney World, that's kind of one of the ways you can do it. I'm not exactly sure how much of the original plan or relationship to the Disney company still exists, but I'd be really interested to hear more about it. So if any of you out there are celebration experts, please give me a little bit of information in the comments. Just like facts like that, I'm kind of not up to date on, but I'm interested in knowing it. So if, if you know, how much of Celebration actually like is, is owned or run by Disney, please let me know. Just over here on the 192, we have Old Town, which has been here for a while, and Fun Spot, which is comparatively new. And Fun Spot has one of two wooden roller coasters here in the Orlando area. And I hope that we get to ride it today. On our way to the Cheesecake Factory, we stopped at the Vineland Premium Outlets, which is a big outlet mall with a lot of places to shop, including the Disney Character Warehouse, which is one of the few places that you can get official Disney park merchandise at a reduced price sometimes. It's not the best stuff. It's usually stuff that they can't sell in the parks anymore because it's just not popular or it's like out of season. But apparently you can get good deals there. We didn't see anything we wanted, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't happen. I guess you kind of kind of have to be there at the right place at the right time. We made it to the Cheesecake Factory. And on the way here, we stopped at the big outlet mall where they also have the Disney outlet. And, you know, as with all these outlet malls where it kind of has to the idea behind it is that you're getting a super extra special price because it's an outlet officially related to Disney or Puma or Nike or wherever. But I feel like what they do is they mark the prices way up so that when they say it's 50% off, you end up paying just about the normal price anyways. And the Disney store basically just has everything that nobody in the parks is buying. You know, like they had Halloween stuff and then they basically just had stuff that I don't know. You'd have to really, really want it in order to buy it. It wasn't the kind of stuff that you normally see and think, yes, that's what I want. And actually, when you walk through a outlet mall like that, it looks a lot like Disney Springs. And I think that 
Disney when they saw how many people were leaving their hotels, you know, like taking a day off of Disney to go to the outlet mall. And they decided to build Disney Springs to make it like the Disney style outlet mall anyways. You can see the, the style is very similar to Disney Springs when you look at it. Anyways, let's go inside Cheesecake Factory. You know I want you close. Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style. Sleeves rolled up, glasses on. And then you make that smile and my heart starts racing when I'm with you. three pieces of cheesecake to try. <laughs> All right, this one is the 30th anniversary edition. It's got cheesecake and then some kind of chocolate fudge and chocolate truffle and just a little bit of whipped cream. This is the red velvet cheesecake. So it's like red velvet, cheesecake, red velvet. And I don't know if that's cheesecake or white chocolate or who knows. And this one is, I think it's like raspberry swirl or something like that. So that's cheesecake. This is definitely white chocolate on there and another blob of whipped cream. And look at the difference in the sizes here. This thing, I swear, probably weighs two pounds. It's like, it is a big hunk and chunk. Big hunk and chunk. Of dessert. I mean, these are all, this is, this is close to a normal size portion, I would say. This is just ridiculously huge. And that one is also pretty normal. Have you ever tried any of these flavors? What's your favorite Cheesecake Factory cheesecake? <laughs> I'm sitting here, Marcus is sitting on the other side of the camera and I'm just gonna try them all. So let's start with the raspberry one, with the raspberry swirls. Of course, we've had them in the car now for about a 45 minute drive home, so they've gotten a little bit soft. It's a little bit of whipped cream. It's not very nice to look at, is it? Oh, the camera doesn't want to look at it. There we go. Oh. It's just so good. Oh. Why is it so good? What about it is so good? It's like cold and creamy, and then you've got the crust, which is super thick. And the crust, I think, is some kind of chocolatey crust, which of course, with the, with the raspberry and the cheesecake and all that, oh, it's just so good. All right, I'm passing this one on to Marcus. Oh, I forgot my coffee someplace. There it is, right back there. Hold on, I'll get it. You gotta have coffee with cheesecake. Did you taste it, Marcus? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try this red velvet monster here. I wish I could get a nice looking bite for you, but it's kind of tough. With layers of the red velvet cake. I didn't get a lot of cake, actually. It's mostly cheesecake in this bite. Hmm, okay. The raspberry one, 
is definitely more my taste than this one is. I'm trying to see if this blub on top here, if that's cheesecake or it's something else. Might be cheesecake. Okay, so the red velvet one, it's definitely not thumbs down, but I would have no problem not finishing this right now, and the raspberry one will definitely be done before we leave this table, I can tell you that much. Marcus, what do you think? And now we're moving on to the 30th anniversary chocolatey edition. Oh, this is gonna be amazing, I can already tell. I actually wanted to try a key lime cheesecake or a key lime pie, uh, but the guy at Cheesecake Factory, when, or our, our server at Cheesecake Factory, Joshua, when we were talking about the different flavors, he said, you know, we do have the key lime, it's not very popular because I think people go to other places to get key lime pie in Florida, and I thought, yeah, that's probably true, so. You have to set it as a goal, Marcus, before we leave to try some key lime pie, okay? Okay. And what do you think of the... I really like this. Mm. It doesn't have the sourness of the of the fruit. Yeah. So that's the difference between the both. Yeah. I think the fruit is in the in the cheesecake and here the fruit is in the... Red velvet? The I don't think there's any fruit in there, but I know what you mean. Yeah, well, okay, the, 30th anniversary. Oh gosh. <laughs> so there's some kind of like chocolate mousse and caramel and cheesecake and then a like a chocolate crummy crust. Oh, I need some coffee. It's unbelievably sweet, but it is so good. And Cheesecake Factory, the, the calorie amounts for all of these is over a thousand calories. Some of them are, I think, 1,300 calories. So if Marcus and I finish all these right now, that's like, that's like 1,500 calories a piece in addition to the lunch that we had. I just realized I've been shaping, shaking the camera on the table. Sorry if you've had an earthquake effect. I'm gonna have one more bite of this before I pass it on. Why can't they just t sell like cheesecake bites? Wouldn't that be nice? You don't really need more than like two or three bites of all this stuff because it's just so rich. Here you go, Marcos. So my favorite is definitely the raspberry one. And then after that comes the 30th anniversary chocolate caramel explosion, whatever it's called. And then after that is the red velvet. Like I said, the red velvet doesn't taste bad, but I definitely wouldn't order it again. I don't know, compared to the other ones, not a whole lot of flavor, but let me know which one is your favorite one. Because I can't say we might not go back, and if you think there's a flavor that we definitely have to try, let me know. Cheers, coffee. I don't know if what we're about to do is actually allowed or even a good idea, but we wanted to walk along the golf course to go for a walk back to the street. But I'm just thinking, if there's people hitting golf balls around here, maybe we're not supposed to walk on a golf course. I think we better not walk on the golf course, actually. Right? <laughs> <laughs>